Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago season 12 discussion video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how the ninja suits actually look for the new Ninjago season and why I actually am kind of liking them now. When I first saw them, I wasn't too keen on their actual design themselves. I mean, that happened with the Ninjago legacy suits as well. I remember when those were revealed, I thought the masks looked ridiculous. They were way too tall. How could anyone even possibly like this? But as time went on and as more and more legacy sets and season 11 sets came out using the exact same headpiece. I kind of gotten used to it a little bit more and I actually have come to greatly enjoy that particular mask. However, these new VR mask things that the ninja have in season 12, I wasn't too sure on either. But I will say now I get what they're going for if the whole VR headset thing is even applicable anymore and I do believe that they actually do work for what they are. The ninja suits themselves, otherwise known as what we've seen so far, those being Lloyd's and Nia's suits, appear to be taking a very, very interesting path when it comes to the actual color design of the suits. Of course, strictly talking about Nia's really quick, her traditional gunmetal gray is there, but she also has an overabundance of blue, more than what we've seen in any other Ninjago suit in recent memory, at least for her, and of course there is a lot of white, which is not a traditional Nia color, but I think it works. Lloyd's, on the other hand, I've seen a lot of people complain that the white doesn't look good with Lloyd's. I personally don't mind it. I mean, Lloyd's suit is basically two shades of green, white, and blue, I believe, so definitely not too bad there of a color scheme. I do think that the light green on Lloyd looks a little strange, but I'm sure I'll get used to that eventually here. And these two ninja suits, again, are very much taking influence from the color white. I've already done a few videos talking about what that could mean, so be sure to go ahead and check those out if you have not done so already. But just jumping back into the actual designs of the ninja suits, I think it works to an extent. I'm curious to see what it looks like on the other ninja. In my opinion, Lloyd and Nia's suits look fine. Again, the mask kind of threw me off at first with the whole VR headset thing and the symbols where they are and the actual overall bulkiness of the armor and the suits themselves, but as it turns out, I mean, you know, when time goes by, I really don't mind it all that much anymore. I do think that the ninja suits from this wave will be very, very unique and will stand out amongst the entire group of Ninjago suits ever since the original series began. These ones are probably going to be one of the most standout ones, at least in my opinion. The colors just pop, they have an interesting silhouette to them, the shape is very intriguing, and overall I'm excited to see what the other ninja suits will look like. We still have not seen Kai's, Cole's, or Jay's as of the time of recording this video, and we have not seen Zane's, if he's even going to be in season 12 for that matter, but I'm sure when the other ninja get revealed, they will look just as good as Lloyd's and Nia's. And for a final verdict, I would say, yeah, I really like these ninja suits. I think they're a really nice touch, and I think for what they're trying to do, they actually work. I'm not really a big fan of the Ninjago avatars, though, but we'll get into that in another video. So thanks a lot for watching this one, guys. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about these new ninja suits. Do you like the design for this, or do you feel like they could have touched it up a little bit more, or what would you have liked to have seen for a season 12 ninja suit? Feel free to leave our thoughts down below regarding that. I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With that being said, that'll just about do it for this one here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description towards my other forms of social media. Once again, I have to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, or at least the one that's on there right now, Elp Dumont Studios. Thank you so much for pledging to the $5 tier. As such, you will receive a spoken shout out and a written shout out at the end of every video. With that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again. My name is Tanner Fishies. I'm with that. I bid you farewell.